Hello and welcome to another tutorial of Excel Expert. Today I want to show you how to create this scrollable chart that updates the value and show only relevant year quarter. As a bonus tip, I will also show you how to wrap your axis that looks like this to this. If you are new to the channel, subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon to get the notification. Let's start the video. The first step is to select your data, go to insert and select a 2D column chart. You can do this task with a shortcut by pressing Alter F1. In step 2, go to developer tab, control group, insert and select scroll bar form control. In case this developer tab is height on your ribbon, right click on the ribbon, select customize the ribbon and from this customize the ribbon, enable this developer tab. Draw a scroll bar. In step 3, we are going to format the control of this scroll bar. For that, right click and select format control. The minimum value for this scroll bar will be 1 and the maximum value will be 20. Incremental change will be 4. Why? I will explain you later. And page change will be 4. And the cell link will be E2. Press OK. Let's move this scroll bar and the chart aside. We are at the extreme left of this scroll bar and the E2 cell is showing the value of 1. As soon as we move right, this value updates then write 9, then write 13, then write 17. Why? Because in the form control, we assign the incremental value of 4. So 1 plus 4 equals to 5, 5 plus 4 equals to 9, 9 plus 4 equals to 13 and so on and so forth. In step 4, we are going to assign incremental value to 3 more cells. For that equals to select the form control cell plus 1 and scroll to 3. So we have quarter 1 value, quarter 2 value, quarter 3 value and quarter 4 value. In step 5, we are going to use index function to call values from the data. For that equals to index the array is a2 to a21 freeze f4 freeze again comma and the matching number is e2 f4 one more time f4 and one more time f4 to lock the column press enter drag down and label this column as period now we have the second column of sales and third column of profit just drag the formula now as we scroll right we get the updated value in this place. But we have a problem of these errors. For that we will update our formula and include if error function. In case of error we want to show blank values. Now there is another problem. As we move right, 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 right. This is the last point that should be in the scroll. But we have additional page in the scroll. For that Right click on the scroll bar, format control and update the maximum value of 17. Why? Because 17 is the maximum value that will be point by this scroll bar. As a final step, we have to update the data of this chart. For that select the chart, go to chart design, select data, for sales edit and the sales value this time will be from G2 to E5. Enter. For the profit, edit and series value will be H2 to H5. Axis will be F2 to F5. Press OK. As we scroll left to right, we can see only that particular year and quarters. As a bonus part of this tutorial, we want to wrap this axis so that we can see year on one line and quarters in second line. And we are going to perform this task with one shortcut. For that, select your period in the data, home, editing, find and select, click on replace or you can use a shortcut Control H. We want to find hyphen, replace it via line break and for line break we are going to use Control J. We have performed the replacement, press OK, close and now we can see year in one line and quarter in second line. If you find this tutorial helpful, make sure you let me know by leaving a comment and a thumbs up below. You can also give your suggestion for future videos in comments. 
see you in next tutorial